So we have the diagram here. And then they are telling us which O is the center. <clears throat> and then we have A, B, C, D, which are points again at the circumference. Now, if you check this point, it's A, it's B, it's C, it's D again. They are going to form something which you call a cyclic quadrilateral. Once you have more than three points at the circumference, check if you can get a, a cyclic quadrilateral. So this thing here is a cyclic quadrilateral, meaning which this one here is going to be an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. And then an exterior angle of a cyclic quad is going to be equal to the interior opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. So it's something that is worth noting. It's not a tangent. This thing it's a cycle. It's a it's an exterior angle of a cyclic quad. And then we are also told which we have called DC, which is produced. The reason why they wanted to say produce, I guess this is DC. If we produce, we are telling you which is going to create an exterior angle. So the word produce is telling you which we are going to form an exterior angle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not a tangent because it's cutting. And then we have E. Uh, yeah, it's produced to E. And then we have AC, which is thrown again. And then the, we are told which we have DOC, which is this angle here. It's A. Then. And then you are also told which is B, C, E. It's A. So they're telling you these things here. So what we're going to try to do, Tina Manja, is to name all the other angles in terms of 80. So the first question says, would you tell us what is going to be this angle? D, A, C. So they're talking about this angle here. So we're talking about this one. What is going to be this angle here? D, A, C. You expect it to be? You expect it to be 40. Then? Okay, why are you saying this one here is going to be 40 then? We have an angle at center. This is going to be two times angle at circumference. Angle at circumference. Okay, we are done with that one. So we'll come and tell them with this one here, it's 40 degrees. Shall Okay, the next question says, tell us what is going to be D. A, B. So what is the A, B? You come and highlight it. D, A, B, they're talking about this whole thing here. What is going to be this whole thing here? What do you expect this angle to be? Starting from here up until, I guess we know this one to be 40. What is going to be this whole thing here? I gotta remember this one here, it's a cyclic quad. I guess. If this is a cyclic quad, this angle, it's an exterior angle. I guess. This one here is an interior opposite angle. So we can tell them which, okay, it means in other words, DAB is going to be equal to 80 degrees. The reason why we are saying this one here is going to be 80 degrees is because we have an exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So you have an exterior angle of a cyclic quad delitera. But they say we should tell them what is going to be BAC. So what is BAC? So what is BAC? BAC, they're talking about this angle here. If you check, which what is it that they're talking about? They're talking about this angle here. So this one, they, they call it what? They call it BAC. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what is going to be BAC? BAC, BAC. What do you expect this one to be then? You expect it to be what to be? Food. Yeah. And then there's no reason for this one. I create this one and this one, when you add them, they give us eight. The one. This one is already 40. Then it makes good. This one is also going to be what to be? Food. If you've seen it, I agree they're going to give you a mark for statement and reason. Right? Statement and reason. This one is just one mark because you're simply going to say 40. Uh, we are still fine. Okay. The next question says uh, we should prove, hence or otherwise, prove that DC. So come and highlight whatever it is that they're talking about. So they say, which you should prove that DC, which is this one again. DC is going to be equaling to BC, which is this one here. And then when they say hands or otherwise, they mean which you can use what we, you already know now, everyone, or you can use something else. Everyone. So to now we're going to use what we already know. I agree this one here. We know which one is A1.
I remember, here's what we know. We know what this one here is 40. And then we also know what this one here is also what is also 40. So if this one is 40 and then this one is 40, it means the chords are also going to be equal. I get equal chords of 10 equal angles. Okay? Now, Tina, we are going to tell them, what, okay, but now A1 is equaling to A2. Okay? The reason why we are saying this one, these two are equal, is because it's proven. This one is proven. It, okay? We don't have to prove it again. Therefore, it means what DC is going to be is going to be equal to BC. So DC is going to be equal to BC. And then they will ask us, which, how did you prove that? How do we know which of these two things here are equal? I agree. We can say to them, equal chords subtend equal angles. Okay? Then it means which in, equal angles are going to be subtended by equal chords. So we can tell them which converse of equal chords subtend equal angles. So we're going to take the converse of equal chord subtend equal angles. Or if you are, didn't want to put it this way, you could have said which equal angles, then you have equal chords. If you have equal angles, they are subtended by equal chords. I heard the, the theorem you know, itself says equal chords subtend equal angles. It says equal chords equal angles. So when I could have used this, if you don't want to write it this way, you could have said, okay, but DC is going to be equal to BC. And then you use the fact which equal angles. Then it means which you're going to have what? Equal chords. So here, I agree on it, it says equal chords, equal angles. So now we say equal angles. Then we're going to have what? Equal chords. And then we are done with 